baked burrata pasta with roasted cherry tomatoes, balsamic eggplant, and basil. It's not exactly the type of meal most people would take on at home, but maybe that's starting to change. I think a lot of people are kind of desperate for new things because we're all stuck at home. Mackenzie Smith is a chef for her family's bed and breakfast. It's called the Black Dolphin Inn, but it's closed right now. She's also the creator of the Grilled Cheese Social, a food blog she started 10 years ago in college. Rochelle Lucas is also a food blogger, and so is Chef Dennis Littley, and all of them say web traffic is up. Right now, I am almost triple of what my normal traffic should be. You know, they always say the heart of the home is in the kitchen. People feel comfort there. You feel like you're providing for your family. The three food aficionados are all located in Orlando, another dimension to the growing food culture in Central Florida. While restaurants are shut down, people are turning to them to get that gourmet cuisine fix. The Nova Scotia oat cakes just went crazy over the last week, and I think because they're they're healthy and they're sweet. Pasta. <laughs> Pasta and carbs are doing so well for me. It's amazing. There have also been reports that people are having trouble finding flour and yeast because so many are now making their own breads. Now, I do not run a food blog, but I have been making my own bread for a few years, and it is delightful. Maybe I should be a food blogger. But for now, I'll leave it to the professionals like Rochelle, who publishes the Travel Bite. She says the travel part of her blog is down about 30%, but the food site is up by nearly as much. A blogger's income is determined by how much advertisers are paying, though, and that is down. But all three say the gains in traffic have helped offset that loss. It makes me feel so good that I am like allowed into people's kitchens, allowed into people's homes, especially during a stressful time like this. How does it make you feel to know that people are turning to you to nourish their families in this time of need? I feel great because all I've ever wanted to do was demystify cooking for people. Even though we're isolated and even though we're in our homes, we're still cooking together, we're still exchanging ideas together. And so if I'm able to help someone um, you know, cook something delicious for their family tonight, that makes me feel good. Mackenzie has a baby due next month, so she may need some new recipes soon, but combined, those three bloggers have published over 1,500 recipes, helping to keep Central Florida strong in the kitchen. I'm Joe Kepner, back to you.